everybody. Uh, we're out here in the brewery on a stormy, rainy day, so if you see a bunch of like lighting changes, that's what's going on. The, uh, there's a little bit of rain here. Uh, we're going to start off with some bad news, uh, and that is the 12 squared brewery the five, and the 5 of us for Giant Slot Brewery is shutting down. Uh, I've accepted a position in Madison, and it's about an hour, 10 minutes from here. My wife also works in Madison, so we are going to uh, sell our house and move which means we get to build a new brewery. Um, but that also means that I'm probably not going to be able to do that much because it kind of freaks people out a lot when they see bubbling things in a basement or some other place. Um, so we're probably, our brewing is going to really taper down. Uh, hopefully we get a separate offer and then I can just quickly bust out a beer and uh, see what happens here. So that, that kind of sucks. I know I said I was back, but I'm, I'm kind of not. So we get some little stuff we're going to talk about. Um, some future stuff. I just have, it's been so busy here trying to get the house ready. The Surly Ward fermented out with USO5. Uh, it smells great. It tastes great. Uh, it's cold crashed for like about four days. Uh, I ran out of CO2, so I didn't get into the kegs. They're going into the kegs tomorrow. My Hellas is also done with a six year, six week uh, lager, and it's ready, good to go. So that's going to be keg tomorrow, and I have a cider in the basement that's just going to get back sweetened and some malic acid thrown on it. Um, that's going to probably happen this weekend. Let's plan to do some stuff talking about my hops outside. I've got some two, two year and uh, uh, first years. Um, I've got Chinook, Cascade, um, Centennial, Hallertau, and Topper. Um, all the German ones didn't take the first years, so this is the second years. I'm planning to dig up and bring them with me. Um, no matter where we're going, we're going to have a lot more space and I can actually probably do something a little better. I've got some bug things and we're going to talk about that later. I'll, I'll, I'll film some stuff going on with that. So with the move, um, we also get to come along on the journey, and that is figuring out the new water profile. We're going to probably be on well, which means this is going to be completely different, which probably means I need to think about probably ROing all my water. I think it's going to be pretty malt forward kind of stuff, so maybe it'll work for my German beers, maybe it won't work for my IPAs. I don't know, we'll find out. I don't think I can make it to NHC next year, and that really sucks. Uh, we're going to Cambodia and Vietnam at the end of the year um, and for three weeks and I have a um, buddy, Jimmy, um, that's getting married in England. So we're going to head out to York in May and since June is NHC, I don't think I'm having enough PTO time to run out there and, and come back. We'll see if we can figure something out. Maybe I can take a day and a half or something like that. Maybe hit pro night, maybe hit club night, hopefully win a reward, but we'll see. I don't know, it's going to be a whirlwind kind of year, at least a finish line here, so. Well, we're going to take you along for the ride for the, for the new place, building a new brewery, getting everything new situated, so. Well, as always, Yandu. Mm. Can't believe how great this brewery looks now that I actually cleaned the crap out of it. It's amazing.